Hi, Jessica Lingard from the Bureau of Meteorology with the severe weather update for Thursday the 7th of September. Now buckle in, this is a big one. We do have a very notable system moving through southeastern parts of the country today and across the weekend. So we'll start off by having a look at the severe weather warnings that are current. These are for the northerly winds ahead of this cold front. So a damaging wind warning for central parts of New South Wales and across southern parts of the country as well. If you did catch the severe weather update from yesterday, you will notice a few updates, including the fact that Melbourne and Adelaide metro areas are now included in that warning area. Having a look at those winds in a little more detail, you see those strong northerly winds ahead of the cold front. Now we have already seen some wind gusts in excess of 80 kilometres an hour through central parts of New South Wales and those winds are set to continue. However, we may see a slight easing of the winds through tonight, but it is still going to be a very breezy evening. Moving through into tomorrow and a more southerly look, as that system moves eastwards, we see the stronger winds moving southwards along the south coast of the continent and through Tasmania as well. So as we move through tonight and tomorrow, there will be new issues of the severe thunderstorm and severe weather warnings. So do keep up to date with those updates. Having a look out on the waters, you see that large areas of the coastline are covered by at least strong or gale force wind warnings. And as we move through into Friday and that low pressure system moves across Tasmania, you'll see storm force wind warnings for southeastern parts of Victoria. For the boaties out there, that's winds in excess of 50 knots. Staying out on the waters and having a look at the sea state, you'll see large areas of the coastline impacted by waves in excess of six or seven metres. Back onto the land now and having a look at the rainfall and also the thunderstorm area and really most places through southeastern parts of the country looking at some risk of thunderstorm over the next 24 to 36 hours but the severe thunderstorms are going to be through central parts of New South Wales and as we move into Friday and that system continues to move eastwards we'll see some thunderstorms developing up around northern parts of New South Wales and along the Queensland coastline where we could see large hailstones and damaging wind gusts. Behind this cold front, we do see a southwesterly airstream. That's quite a chilly airstream. And so bringing us the perfect conditions for a little bit of snow. So we could see some snow during Friday and into the early hours of Saturday morning. Through Tasmania, we could see snow as low as 500 metres, around 700 metres for Victoria and Alpine parts of New South Wales, and even a light dusting through the central tablelands with snow down to around 900 metres. Now I have covered a fair few things in this video so if you do need some more information please check out the Bureau of Meteorology website. You can also follow us on social media or download the Bureau of Meteorology app.